Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a day in my life as a female software engineer in Silicon Valley. So let's get to it. So the first thing I get into work is I go to something called stand-up. It's where everyone kind of gives their updates on what they've done the previous day, what they're gonna do today. Any of the work that's in progress, whether someone's blocked, or you need anything from anyone else. So a stand-up is called stand-up because it should be really short so everyone is standing so they don't get tired. So then we do about like 15 minutes. Usually it takes less than that. So that's the first thing I do when I come into work. So after some tea to wake myself up, I like to check my schedule for the day, see what time I have meetings, see what time I have my one-on-ones and etc. And then I would go ahead and check my emails. This is the perfect time for me to reply to anything that requires my answer to unblock others. And I would also use this time to get any answers that I need. And of course, looking for the perfect GIF to reply to my emails. So after I finish my work communication stuff, I like to check my own email to see what else I have going on in my personal life. Hi! So I don't have anyone behind me because I'm not going to actually film a real meeting. But usually during a meeting, during a team meeting, we'll just sit around in like a conference room like this. Usually a meeting usually has a particular topic and a particular outcome should come from it. Usually zero to one meetings a day. Um, we've really tried to keep down our meeting intake so that we can actually code a lot more. So usually after a morning meeting is where I plan out all the tasks that I want to finish that day. And if I have extra time before lunch, I'll actually get started on those tasks. If not, almost lunch time. <laughs> Heading out for lunch. Um, I don't have too much time today, so I'm just gonna grab my meal pal meal and Obviously that was way too loud with a background noise for you to hear me, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover. And so right now I just grabbed lunch, so since I have a little bit more of activity later, I'm actually taking a shorter lunch in order to compensate more work time. So for convenience, I'm just eating next to where I got lunch. Depending on the day, I sometimes eat out at a sit-down place or sometimes I'll get takeout and go back to the office, so it depends. So today I'm just gonna have a quick lunch, head back to the office, and while I eat, I'm gonna enjoy myself some YouTube. Oh look, a change of setting, that's not my desk. Yes, so sometimes when I get sick of my desk, I actually book a conference room or I go to one of the bean bags and I would just code there instead. Just a change of scenery to stimulate that brain. And I still find it very, very useful to just write logic out on paper on a, on a board so that it's just much easier to code it out when I actually know what I'm doing. And I'm just writing some very, very interesting code here that I promise you, you will not see in any real code base. I promise. Ha 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 ha. Then of course, let's code it up. Yo, here's how I write code in two times the speed. <laughs> and here is my one-on-one -on -one time with my manager. So we usually talk a lot about the ongoing events, the ongoing work that we are doing. We talk a lot about my growth and also I get feedback on how I'm doing, if there are things that I can do more of. Um, and I also raise any concerns that I see in the team process, in the company, in life, you know, all of those things. 
Alrighty, back to my favorite desk. So this is the part that most people might not know about, but software engineers actually do a lot of tech design. And, and what that means could be when engineers are given a product design, we have to think about how to code that up technically, right? So usually one of us will go in and look at what we're trying to build, and then we come up with the ways that we're actually going to build it. So here you see me editing a spreadsheet and like referencing code. That's me thinking about what approach I should take based on the code that we already have and give kind of like a plan so that we can actually break the work down and eventually everyone can work on the project together and of course ship out the feature. All right, we need to pause here so I can show you my favorite, favorite lotion. I'll put it on the screen for you as well. It's from Bath & Body and it's the best lotion ever. Gotta keep your hands hydrated for those coding typing sessions, you know? Oh, look, one of our team's favorite activities at work so I am here with one of my teammates and we are about to attack a pairing session. What that means is we work on the code together. So this is great for knowledge transferring. If you are stuck on a problem and you need a little bit of help, it's good to have someone to talk it out with. So if this is a mysterious concept to you, try it out. Did I mention that I was going to have a fun activity later? Well, here it is! We are playing Overcooked! Yes! Pizza. Prepare dough with tomatoes. I'm chopping tomatoes. Yeah, I'm I love it when we have a lot of people for Overcooked. So we are having one of these at work. We don't have these very often, but we do have them once in a while. So I always make sure to join. Hi! Just love work. We did have an Overcooked session today. Um, it was a lot of fun as you can see a lot of screaming a lot of optimizing etc so like, once in a while like our office likes to have a lot of like game nights and like um, similar things to that um, so yeah now I'm just heading out because I need to grab dinner with some friends three hours later hi just got back from a very very delicious dinner so continuing from what I was saying so we had an overcooked session earlier today and it doesn't happen very often so like sometimes when we have social events I would in turn either take a shorter lunch go in earlier or leave later so time is very flexible but like you gotta manage like how do you make sure that you get your work done so in a typical day would be a good mix of meetings, coding uh, a little bit of social time like during lunch some prioritizing tech designing and also what else like so if you have the perception of software engineers coding 8 hours a day definitely not true I don't think I can even think straight for like 1 hour so I hope this gives you some insight into a typical day of a software engineer. If you enjoyed this video, please please down there give me a big thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it so I know to make more of it. And I'm actually very curious, comment down below what you think a software engineer's typical day is. Hmm. And if you're new here, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down there, right there, yep. And also the bell next to it so that you can get notified on whenever I post a new video. And remember, my goal is to always help you grow as a software engineer or as a computer science student. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!